When you're looking for a split shank engagement ring, there's a few ways that you can do the split. So you can have it wide, or you can have it thin, or you can have it V-shaped or Y-shaped. So in this video, I'm gonna explain the different types of split shank diamond rings, so that way you can choose which one is perfect for you. Keep watching. Hey, this is Vanessa from Vanessa Nicole, where I create custom diamond rings for clients all over the world. And in this video, I wanna go over a split shank engagement ring and the different options that you have. So this particular ring is a double halo cushion cut split shank engagement ring. Now you don't necessarily have to have the double halo or a halo at all, but so for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna explain this particular split shank design, why we did it, and also your other options for split shank engagement rings. So this particular one, because I have it here in person, I just finished it and my client's about to pick it up. So I wanted to shoot this quick video to show you what it looks like. This is a beautiful wide V split shank. So the way I, the way I designed it is that it has this beautiful graceful curve up to the, the halos and you wanna make sure that they're proportional to the, the halos because these arms on the split shank, if they're too narrow or they're too wide, they're not gonna flow in line with the overall halo shape. So you really wanna keep that in mind when designing the ring. Let's say you have a smaller center stone. This particular center is a two carat with the double halo. So that really allows you to have that wide split. But if you have a smaller center stone, you don't wanna make the split too wide because it's gonna over, it's gonna go past the center diamond. Obviously that's not the, what we want. And if you make the, uh, if you make the split shank too narrow, it's not gonna really give that open look. The, the point of the split shank is to really be dramatic as possible to make that center diamond look beautiful and large. So everything has to work together with the design as a whole. That's why it's a downside if you get a center diamond and pair it with a pre-made setting because it, that setting wasn't made for that center diamond. So the benefit of making it custom is that you can make sure that the dimensions of the center diamond pair beautifully with that split, whichever kind of split that you want. So in this particular one, I wanted to make sure that from the profile view, you don't actually see any metal in there. Sometimes you'll see a little donut of metal or a little bar as well. The way I did this is I have the support bars on the side, but from this point, uh, against the back, a dark background, you can actually see it really nicely. You don't see any metal in that split, which is a really nice feature. Oh, sorry about that, motorcycle outside. So that's a really nice feature, so you only see that beautiful V split. And another thing that you, you wanna keep in mind when you're creating a split shank is you want it to be delicate. Now it really does depend on what look you're going for. If you want it to be very modern and angular, sure, go with that absolutely stick straight V. Or you can make it more of like a blend of the V and the Y, so it just is more delicate. And, uh, and graceful looking. Or you can make it a complete Y, so it's more like straight at the bottom, and then it just splits a little bit at the top. Which, when it comes to the Y split shank, you don't notice it as much from the top view, but you really do notice it from the side view. So that's definitely something to consider whenever you're creating a split shank. So if you're looking to create your very own split shank engagement ring, I would love to help you out. It's one of my favorite types of, types of shanks because it really enhances the size of the center diamond. So feel free to reach out to the studio and I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care, bye.